Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So over the last uh, couple of days, we've been talking about the Copilot button over on Windows 11 moving to the right-hand corner of the system tray. And in conjunction with Microsoft moving that Copilot button to the right of the taskbar in Windows 11, they've also disabled the Show Desktop toggle that's found right next to the Copilot button in the far right of the taskbar and the system tray. Now, I thought this may be a good time uh, just to let you know how you can actually quickly show your desktop in Windows 10. Since we've been speaking about showing your desktop over on Windows 11, and in case you're unaware, just to um, show you how to go about a couple of steps, you can go through and, and try out um, if you want to quickly show your desktop. Now, obviously, if you are using Windows 10 and you have, as an example, an app or your file explorer or your browser open, by default, on Windows 10, there's this little line or toggle um, that's found right next to Focus Assist. And you can see there, I've already um, shown my desktop just by hovering over it. And if I go back, you can see it basically shows my desktop. Now, if I right click on that toggle, we get two options, peak. So the default, as we can see, if I hover over that line, it's peaking at my desktop. So it'll basically, uh, minimize any apps or browsers or the file explorer if it's open and if I move away you can see that uh, the actual app and the file explorer is now shown once again on my desktop. Now if we right click on that if you don't want the peak at desktop which I don't personally like because um, I feel, feel when you're in the system tray and your mouse moves over there then it's kind of peaks at the desktop and minimizes all your apps that are open. So a safer option is just to click on show desktop so as an example, you would have to actually click on that toggle, that line to the right of the system tray to actually show your desktop. As you can see, when we're clicking, uh, things can get in the way. So it's quite a fine little um, space for your mouse to end up. So as you can see there, I clicked my notifications. And that's also why Microsoft uh, disabled this toggle in Windows 11 by default for the same principle that if you're going for Copilot, you might accidentally click on that. So you've got Show Desktop and Peak. So those are your two options there. Now, if we right-click on our taskbar, and I head to Taskbar Settings, there's something else you can try out. It says, use Peak to preview the desktop when you move your mouse to the Show Desktop button at the end of the taskbar. So that's on by default. So if you don't want to see that Peak option, toggle that off, and now you'll see that the, um, it's just now showing your desktop. It doesn't use peak. So you then just click and unclick on that. And there we go. And another way you can do that if you have an app open is you can just right click and you can click on show desktop. And there we go. And that's also another simple option. And um, if you want to use a keyboard shortcut, if you want to show your desktop, you can just use Windows and D as well on Windows 10 and just tap that accordingly, Windows and D, and there we go, if you don't want to use your mouse. So that's just a quick update. Since we've been talking about the show desktop quite a lot over on uh, Windows 11, just to show you, as mentioned, how you can get the job done over on Windows 10, if you would be interested. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.